ओके हाय एवरीवन आई एम विद कमेडियन फनी मैन ऑथर होस्ट एक्टर व्हाट नॉट साइरस बोचा ही रियली डजंट नीड एन इंट्रोडक्शन ही इज द पर्सन हु ब्रॉट अस दी रेवोल्यूशनरी एमटीवी बकरा एमटीवी लव स्टिल कबीर स्टिल टू बी स्लैप्ड एट एन अवार्ड शो स्टिल टू बी स्लैप्ड या I'm going to I'm going to skip that part and move on to the first question with Cyrus. Cyrus, we are here going to uh, talking about the business of comedy, which I really wanted to know about you because you know you've been here before English and even Hindi stand-up comedy really took off in India from the Great Indian Laughter Challenge in 2005 and then in 2010 with you know AIB and TVF and all these guys coming in. So how has the business of comedy changed from the time when you were there, when you were like literally one of the very few people to write now? so uh, kabir back in first let me apologize for not uh, honoring yesterday's commitment but uh, mumbai ka studios indiscipline is a, another story altogether something started 3 hours later than it should have so i didn't want to even try to come back on time acha going back to the question uh, remember 1996 1995 hmm. 96 around that time mtv jo actually tha it was a music channel before hmm. it became rodies and whatever it is today it was basically actually playing music so at that time you know i just wanted to when they audition me i didn't know what to do yaar because i was not an expert on any sort of music and i was not a trendy guy i was not a hip guy in any way and the other guys at the audition that they had called were all these models milan suman looking good looking adonises with great bodies and hair and one guy's hair was like you know beyond bog the famous tennis player one of those i mean yeah. I, i was like what the, what the hell am i doing here amongst all these guys so i just was myself and said what the hell i got nothing to lose because i can't compete with these guys it's like a model contest or uske baad what happened is they basically actually wanted someone to just talk like normally and sort of you know a urban indian boy uh, a boy i'm saying but i was 22 um and so that just lucked out for me and the good thing is that no one in mtv was trying to be funny they were all were taking themselves very seriously so it was great fun being me uh-huh. Because I could just say anything and get away with it. Because it was great fun. I, I I shudder to think what will happen if I had to go through a VJ hunt, or if I had to go through a comedy contest, or uh, am professional am night or whatever they call it nowadays. It would have been really hard. But it was it was fun. Right place, right time. I always tell people, just like politics, be it the right place, right time. That's your karma. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of the week that wasn't CNN, IBM sort of a commentary which is coming in for you over there. But uh, to to make people understand, you know, when did comedy start becoming a proper profession? Because you know, so many of these people, for example, whether it is a a TVF or whether it was an AIP or whether it was the East India Comedy Club, founding their own companies, uh, getting into the whole entrepreneurship uh, founding angle, and then uh, making it forward. So, what are your thoughts about that? How did that actually come about? So the specific date is November twenty fourth, nineteen ninety nine. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's the way I remember it. Um, the Veer Das is the first guy who came here. Mm. He was, uh, uh, I think, only five foot three inches tall at that time, and uh, decided to do something with his life. And he's the guy who brought some structure to it because he started these formal nights. We didn't take them seriously, also because we thought, you know, how uh, bar owners want something different. तो इंडिया में ये एक ही फ्रेज आई थिंक एवरी टाइम यू ट्राई टू डू समथिंग दे ऑलवेज आस्क यू कुछ डिफरेंट है कुछ डिफरेंट होगा यू नो सब दिस यू नो यू जस्ट से द सेम थिंग इन अ डिफरेंट एक्सेंट और समथिंग एंड यू नो दे बाय इट सो ही ब्रॉट समथिंग एक्चुअली डिफरेंट व्हिच इज द आईडिया ऑफ द कॉमेडी नाइट वेयर द पीपल वुड कम एंड परफॉर्म फॉर 2 टू मिनट्स इफ आई हैव लाइक अ कांटेस्ट थ्री जजेस फ्री प्राइजेस एंड व्हाटएवर एंड यू नो एवरीबडी इज हैप्पी सो आई थिंक एज़ वाज इंग्लिश कॉमेडी गोस इट स्टार्टेड विद दैट uh hindi comedy got its cue from english comedy they realized the what's the it's the same style just change the language and references and which they did and then i think vernacular comedy actually grew also in the south in bengal i just came back from kerala so they also followed the same uh, format so that was a whole revolution uh, sort of that happened in the early 2000s with people like veer das and others now let me explain to you why i i hate these guys and i'm disgusted by them it's because they give comedy a bad name comedians are supposed to be people who can't do anything else Okay. See what happens when a comedian runs a country. Look at Ukraine situation right now. So let's understand our core competence. It's because we failed at engineering, couldn't get an MBA. Uh, dad's business, the the saying that okay, money will get you, so sit at home. You know, that's that's the whole concept of being a comedian. These guys are actually uh, motivated, ambitious, hardworking. They're everything that they should be to be a comedian. So I'm very disappointed. I hope the next generation doesn't let us down and they continue to be wastrels. And you know, uh, after drinking too much and misbehaving in parties, finally decide. Comedies for them. I thought that would be the correct route. 
but uh, it's uh, amazing that how much talent is out there and they're all structured and hard working and ambitious and they work i mean they they're so professional it's scary i really sometimes wondering maybe, maybe this would be better if i go into engineering you know maybe we tell me for you <laughs> really sometime because i'm surrounded by young comics i work at a podcast ivm podcast and they they all the time these yeah. guys are so different from us in terms of maybe in cricket and in business also it's like that ki ek zamana aur us zamana i don't want to be one of those guys who mere zamana mein aisa tha no you'd never want to be that guy that guy is like you know he's, he's got like loser written on him you know that chacha of yours who always mentions ki ek gavas karta hai ek vishwanath tha ab ye log kya khelte hai red ball ke sath etc so i won't get into that space but having said that i just i just feel sometimes that they try too hard they work too hard and i just feel i would have never got into comedy if i knew this was the business hard working professional sort of cutthroat business which it is now today but you have to give credit virus, to veer das you do realize that it is primarily because of people like you that they have come into the picture see it's possible that a couple of people here and there said chalo maybe uh, ye try karta hai but which is not necessarily a compliment they must be thinking this guy is so bad that such bakwas even i can do better than that uh, second thing is the corporate structuring only happened in my generation we first started getting some events we were the first people to get events anchoring events shows you know we many of us live off that you know uh, because that's corporate india thank god is always even during the pandemic has some work going so so that was one of the one of the reasons why i think comedy grew because there was outlets to work so you had the bar culture then you had the like the sangeets and the corporate culture and then you had these private shows where the bigger comics are you know you pay money and go and see the guy a big name or whatever and uh, so and then of course after that radio podcast television work agar aa gaya commercials voice over work uh, cinema So there's no end to it, and you see, seen various names going for left, right, and center. I mean, uh, Kapil Sharma, for that matter, and another day was a simple comedian, and today is probably one of the most famous comedian in India. Yeah. Then you look at uh, the Chief Minister of Punjab right now; he was very much a contestant I've, on a comedy I've show. I've seen him perform, yeah, in Calcutta. Yeah, yeah, and he's and he's oh, you're you're a cowboy. Yeah, I'm a cowboy. Are you? I was there for four days. I know, I know. You were the you were there for the Kolkata Literary Meet. How was that? I mean, what are your favorite haunts in Calcutta? If I may ask, since we've come onto the topic. Restaurant. Well, thanks to thanks to Zomato, we ordered it in, <laughs> so yeah. it was all great. The the hangla, the rolls, of course, we have to have that. And mm. then what is that biryani? We went to the biryani place. Oh, uh, yeah, there are a lot of them. A lot of them. Famous one, yeah. They, they all told us to go there. Nah, I, mean, I, I don't know. There are two three famous ones. There's Arsalan. Ahania, Ahania, Arsalan, Arsalan. That's it. Arsalan, that's it, that's yeah. it. and hangla is yeah, and, more and, of a. More more famous in Bombay, Delhi types. In Calcutta, of course, there are yeah. a lot of other roll shops. You should check out yeah. Park Street next time for sure. No, sorry, it was from Park Street, boss. I didn't do the ordering. I was ah, so the eating. So then, it, oh, okay, that name ka name ka wo baat nahi kling. Double I, double. Ah. Huh. One thing just coming to my mind, you know, after all that you said, out out of curiosity, and we I'll be wrapping up this interview in the next two minutes because you've got a ten minute time limit. How many death threats have you got till now? no death threats i won't mention one chief minister filed a, uh, a suit for i did, did not go to a certain city in the south for four years i know about that yeah i'm not a lawyer so please you also don't mention the name because i don't want to edit yeah. this video yeah yeah true and also a lawyer said see the great thing about india is agar tu pahunch gaya ek state mein the rules change no matter what you say about constitution of india so once you're there you're basically at the mercy of that particular state government or whatever having said that hopefully you know that's gone and done and dusted but we have uh, we have got not a death threats but a couple of people have got offended i've always apologized i totally apologize um, what happened with will smith and chris rock i think you're going to that situation i mean i just can't accept what he did here jo bhi hai jitna bhi i mean let's, let's play, end on that note let's end on that note what is your view about that issue brother i'm saying if will smith and his wife are, are taking offense about these kind of things why, how can you point fingers at right wing faction or a political faction ya wo pc nahi hai wo pc nahi hai i mean there's no end to it right so i'm very disappointed with them they are part of our tribe they are entertainers these are among the richest people in the world most powerful people in the world most lucky people if you want to use word privilege americans use that word a lot they are the privileged so what's the problem she's dealt with the hair issue it's not cancer it's not hiv aids It's a hair loss issue, and she's dealt with it for seven, eight years. She's a beautiful woman, successful woman. So what's going on? They all know each other. They're one fraternity. He made a joke, and if it was so bad, you felt really bad about it. You could have talked to him in a certain way, but raising your hand, brother, sorry, yar. Then it makes America look like India, or maybe even worse. Uh, the neighbor, <laughs> poor neighbor, is uh, uh, undergoing their own problems. The greatest cricketer has been removed from power for some reason. <laughs> okay. 
actually when when you're talking to Cyrus Brocha, there are so many things to talk about. I can actually extend this for the next one hour, but probably at some later time. Uh, Cyrus, thanks a lot for talking to us and uh, taking our time and all the best to you and uh, take care. Thank you, Kabir. Pleasure. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.